Hello everyone and welcome, this is Philip here. In this video, we'll take a look at tiny details, little tips and tricks that you might not know about Anno 1800. Many of you are switching to the old world to the new world using this little icon on the bottom. There's a way to use some sort of modification using a separate third party application that allows you to change the world very, very quickly, like so. If you're interested to know how this is done, let me know in the comment section because it's somewhat of a long video. I will put out a step-by-step -step video to show you how to do it. The more people that let me know, the faster I can put out a video. You can now set reserved goods for a trade route. What do I mean by this? Let's say you're at this first island called Oasis and you want to transfer some steel beams over to Dunyork. But you always want to have a certain amount of steel beams on an oasis at all times. You don't want the trade ship to take everything over to the next island. Here's how you can do it. We'll click on load. Now here's the important part. Make sure you're holding down the shift key on your keyboard. Keep holding it. Don't let it go. Press your steel beam. And this is the amount that you're going to want to reserve on the original island. Keep holding on to the shift key. Press accept. Now you see something different. You see there's a plus and minus here. This is the amount that's going to be reserved on the original island. And you just unload it. In comparison, if you don't hold down the shift key, you load it, you press like for example some timber, you'll see that it's just a plus key. It's very subtle, but it's there. We'll go ahead and accept it. Let's go ahead and follow this ship. You notice here the ship does not take the steel beams. There's still always a reservation on here. So there you go. If you're constantly annoyed by messages popping up from everywhere all over the place and you're just really annoyed by that, well make sure to go into the notification. Click on this little filter and you can toggle off or on the certain types of messages that you don't want or want. Just be careful though, you will not be warned of certain incidents as long as your city is relatively safe and good to go and happy, even li little incidents like fire wouldn't be an issue. As long as you have fire stations, you're good to go. You already know you can hover to the global population to see the amount of citizens that you have for each different type. But you can hover to each individual island population and see how many of each type you have. This is useful so that you know how many of each production chains to produce because now you have the numbers to calculate. Same here, you can see this island has a different number of, for example, farmers or workers. And if you go to a different island here, it also has a different number of farmers and workers. Some of you might really hate fighting with the AI, but if you fight them, there you can get some really nice reward. Check this out. This is an island from one of the AI I conquered. Look at all this cheddar right here. Look at all these really nice items. And if you made it this far, I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and orient the camera to its normal position. If you take a look at this map, you can see the wind is going from this way right there. Right, The wind is starting this way. And if you zoom into the flag, you can see that the flag is also being pushed in the same direction as the wind is going. Right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, shows you kind of the little details that the developers put into the game. Very, very, very awesome. And we're reaching the end of this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found something cool. And if you happen to know something that you want to share to the rest of the community, uh, feel free to post them in the comment section. I would love to hear it because these tiny little things are very, very cool. So thanks for watching again, and I will see you all next time in future videos. Take care.